many people are finding new and unique ways to perhaps do a cheers. I've talked about it before on the show. One of our go-tos is eggnog and rum, but I am learning there is so much more to rum, especially one kind that we're going to introduce you to today. Let's go ahead, bring in Sebastian. Good morning, Sebastian. How are you? Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? I am well. So, you know, rum, I got to be honest with you. I don't know a lot about it. And sometimes when I'm trying to choose a, a typical brand to go with, I don't know what to go with. Help us out. All right. All right. So, you know what? I've got a couple of options for you here today. So I have Seto Jerry Spice Rum right here, which is a blend of Caribbean rum uh, with natural spices, 100% natural spices and flavors blended in the USA. And I have Floricania, 18 years old, from Nicaragua, which is one of the most eco-friendly and energy-efficient distillery in the world. I like it's very your, nice option here. You know, talking about being uh, energy efficient, because I know there's such a focus on that. So we've got two different kinds of rums. You're going to be making some drinks for us. What's the yes. key when using rum and mixing it? Do you have a rule of thumb, perhaps, to make sure your drink's going to succeed? Yeah, I will, I will show you a couple of tricks here, but basically it's all about balance, all right? You don't want a drink which is overly sweet or overly rich uh, or, or too, too strong, you know? Um, so I'm going to show you the exact ratio you need to play with. I've got two options here for you. You mentioned eggnog before. Well, I have for you a cocktail called a flip. It's a very, very old school drink, and it's basically made with eggs, but without the cream that you'll find in the egg yolk. So oh. it's a similar taste, similar profile, but without the cream. Really? Okay, you've yeah. got me here. Let's see what it's all about. Please. All right, let's do it. So we're going to need one and a half part of Cedar Jerry Spice Rum here. So Cedar Jerry was named after Norman Collins, Norman Cedar Jerry Collins, who is the godfather of American tattoo, actually. Uh, he was a Navy vet and he was tattooing uh, all the soldiers uh, in Honolulu during World War II. Yes. Good history lesson. Yeah, a little bit of a, you know, fun fact here. Uh, then I'm going to add some, uh, it's like a chocolate liquor, cocoa liquor, uh, half a pot, just to give you a bit of a, a sweetness. Then I have some maple syrup, half a pot as well here. Oh, wow. Yes, you're going to see. I mean, I, I wish, wish I could to taste it. <laughs> I, that's one thing that's bad. We joke. It's fun. You're actually joining us from Colorado. You were saying in Denver, and, and there's some perks to being at home, but this is one of the downfalls. I actually can't physically uh, cheers you and try it. I know. Usually I'm in the studio, and I'm like, here we go. That's for you. And you can I know. I've got, I've got coffee, Sebastian. That's all I have. <laughs> Black coffee here. It's all good. You, you have the recipe. You'll be able to make it at home later on today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. To this, I'm going to add a couple of beaters. Uh, I go black. One bitter here. Um, I'm going to have three dashes. It's incredible how many bitters you can find in liquor store now. So, you know, go nuts. You know, pick your favorite, favorite flavor. Uh, little chef trick. I'm going to add some sea salt. All right. And this is kind of the piece of resistance. The whole egg. Okay. Right into your shaker. Bam. Huh. So this is a base for a flip. Okay. And it's like an eggnog. As I say again, eggnog, you get a whole egg, you go cream. So it's very similar. Then we're going to shake it, and we need to dry, what you call dry shake this a little bit, just to emulsify the eggs very quick. Here we go. And then we can add our ice. And get the party started. <laughs> and can I just say, too, I love the fact that you are obviously on Colorado time. So uh, <laughs> it's like, you know, two hours earlier. <laughs> Shaking it up. <laughs> During this uh, COVID period, I've been I've been used to make drinks very very early, uh, <laughs> a lot a lot earlier than I usually would. <laughs> so let's do this. It's ready to go. Straight into your cocktail glass here. So you see, it's rich, it's creamy. Yeah. It's gonna have a nice foam on top. Okay. okay well you know what, Sebastian, as you're garnishing, yeah. we only have about a minute, and I don't want to uh, lose That's you right. on the other drink. So as you That's garnish right. quickly, I'm, I'm so glad we talked a little eggnog, or at least egg. Wish I could try that, but now there's a yes. second one, a little more second one. lighter drink. Uh, not really, actually. This one is a little bit stronger. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's old-fashioned. <laughs> it's a twist on old-fashioned. So we're going to use two parts of our rum from Nicaragua, Flor de Caña. Then we have some Falenum liquor here, which is a bit of a, it's like a Caribbean spice liquor, very low in ABV, 
uh, we're gonna use half a part. And then some bitters again. So it's like the cherry, cherry bitters here. And this is like the ratio for a classic old fashioned, which is bitter, sugar, and alcohol. Give it a quick start. Your glass is ready here with a big ice cube. And you are Fabulous. Ready. Well, we, as you are pouring, we are getting a big wrap. I'm so glad that you featured two different kinds of rum for us today. There's a look at it as well. There's a website so you can learn more and get your own. Again, two different drinks outside of the box, both perfect for the holidays. Sebastian, it was so nice to meet you today. Wish I could share with you in person. <laughs> <laughs> to you. Happy holidays. Stay safe out there.